Ladies and gentlemen, our new head men's basketball coach for the University of Michigan Wolverines, Jawan Howard. Chicago prepared me to be the man who I am today. I love where I grew up and how I grew up. South side, from the south side. So yeah, as you heard that voice sort of change and the tone of my voice change, south side, that's where I'm from. We're prideful over there. It taught me about adversity, how to stay mentally tough, how to compete at the highest level and not be afraid. I was playing for CBS, Chicago Vocational High School. Very notable people went to CBS. Bernie Mac went a long way. Dick Buckus is in the Hall of Fame. Shawan is the best player I've ever had. That's a selling point when I went out to talk to kids to say, hey, well, this is where Jawan went to school. If you have the ability, you know, you can do the same thing. Jawan is one of the best players to ever come out of the city. I was the number three player in the nation coming out of high school. When I played against Juwan, it was a fight every single night. Loved Juwan as a person, hated Juwan as a player. And that was because I knew I had to go to work. And that carried over to what he did at Michigan. What a matchup. You got Howard against Thomas, 25. Two of the hardest workers in basketball great recruiter as his first recruiting class before he had even become a coach was recruiting Chris Weber and Jalen Rose and the rest of those guys to Michigan. 30 years ago, he signed a letter of intent to go play at the University of Michigan. Now you're coaching there. This is so surreal. It opens up doors and dreams for other young people, man, especially out of the south side, to know that, hey, if he can do it, why well, it can't happen for me. Recently, all of his old classmates and people from the city of Chicago got on a bus at 6 something in the morning and went to the game when they played UMass Laurel. After the game, he came downstairs and seen everybody and was like reliving that whole press conference over again because he was very touched about that. Down vertical drop, tracing the ball. So as Saudi pivot, my hand is here. He's gonna do real well, real well. And I have no doubt that Michigan will win multiple NCAA championships with Juwan there, take it to the bank. The feeling coming in that after transferring, I would be able to play with the guys right away and play on that team. And once that didn't happen, it was pretty devastating. Just putting things in perspective and, and, and realizing that my time will come and just had to be patient and work. It's hard with red shirts, but I remember one time we were playing Purdue. We put Marcus on the scout team and we said, okay, you're going to be Carson Edwards. And Carson, he takes a lot of tough shots, makes a lot of tough shots. And Marcus kept making them. I'm like, all right, we're just going to tell you you could be Carson Edwards all the time. Got to get off your feet, Marcus. The scout team was really fun last year. I took it very seriously. Watched a lot of film, probably more film than most guys sitting out do. Took it as a challenge, really, to imitate those guys as best I can, what their tendencies were and what their go-to moves were. Whether it's Cassius Winston, obviously, is terrific in ball screens at Michigan State. Xavier Simpson at Michigan and he just kept giving our guys fits. He was really tough, always. Tough defense, tough offense, some ridiculous finishes. <laughs> One practice, we were doing scout for Michigan, and Xavier Simpson, he does this little outside behind the head, like hook shot. I remember mm. Marcus, I don't know, how many times you hit that? Probably like two or three. No, nah, I don't. Four or five. Four just, or five. Trying be, just trying to be humble Almost for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that guy like four or five times. Talking with Coach P in the offseason, he told me that he'd really be looking for me to lead this team this year. So on the summer leading up to this season, the process came to voting captains. Everybody writes two names down and then submits them to coach. I was blessed enough to be a captain. 
stuff's getting out of line in practice, he's the first one to be like, come on, it's time, time to tighten up. And then he just has the voice, you know, everybody listens to him when he's talking, so. Uh, and then the way he hoops, I mean, it speaks for itself. What a finish by Marcus Carr. Carr, why not? He just comes with this persona that he's here to lead, whether he knows it or not. And we needed that, so we all just kind of follow that and follow him. It's an honor to be on the court with them. And to know that they trust me to lead them is, is a huge responsibility, but I love it. Minnesota and Michigan here for the first time this year. An important game here on a Sunday afternoon. It would be a quad one win if the Gophers can get it today. Point, Jawan Howard might have to take a look at his roster and say it might not be a scheme, it might just be the fact that he doesn't have anybody that can guard Oturu. Drop step and a dunk! Both teams have made some adjustments and neither team has missed here in the second half. Marcus Carr has come alive here in the second half. Seven in the second half. Gophers by two, 43-41. Now to Carr. Carr, Lava Oturu! And a dunk! Gophers with their largest lead. 54 49, it's five. Simpson working left to the elbow. Now right. Easy layup. That's the guy you got to keep getting it too late. In a Big Ten grinded out fight. And the senior leader has tied the game. We got to make sure that every guy must find a guy to block out. Because now we're in the zone. It's going to be holes in the zone, and we can't block out an area. We got to box out a man. We got to convert on some points on the break. Get out there and run. Wings get out to the corners. Big, let's post up. Fuel each other. Crazy energy. Let's go. Minnesota needs to win this basketball game. They have outplayed Michigan, in my opinion. Oturu's going to force to be reckoned with. Carr's picked it up as of late. Minnesota has to go and win this one. Marcus Carr with 16. New career high, 30 for Oturu. Carr working on Eli Brooks with 10 to shoot. Cross court pass Willis with three. Three is in the air. Got it! And Minnesota with a monster win here at home. Okay, unbelievable job. Marcus, you were terrific. Obviously, 12 assists, zero turnovers. We took care of the ball, guys. But most importantly, you know and I know 
We have a beast down low. We have yes, a beast. Yes, okay, but I'm proud of you guys. You fought through it. You got stops and rebounds when you needed to. That's that's a tough win. Good job, guys. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Come on, we're not done, though. We're not done. Family, I'll tell you. One, two, three. Family. Family.